Okay, so I want you guys to see 7,000 feet up here. I can't believe I can see that plane way out in the distance up top there. But yeah, guys, this is incredible. Incredible. Let me get back in the car and keep recording a little bit. Wow, this ground is a little bit icy. I'm a little surprised. The car's handling just fine. I would have never known. Would have never known. I don't know if you guys can really tell at all, but we are up here, guys. We're at the top of the world up here. This is what it looks like when planes come flying in, guys. Anyway, for those of you who watched this whole time lapse, you'll get a little surprise of the sparkling night right after the big rains we just got. All right guys, so we're entering Running Springs through this time lapse, but I wanted you guys just to see. Look at this. Look at how much snow they got over here. It's white on both sides of the road, and the road's got snow and, and, and ice on it. Down here in Running Springs. And when you saw Big Bear, we had nothing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Snow Valley looks like right now. Until then, we're going to uh, get back to the uh, time lapse, okay? But I wanted you guys to see this. Peace out. All right guys, so we're coming up to Snow Valley Ski Resort and uh, there is snow on both sides over here. A few of my friends from YouTube were letting me know that there was accumulation happening over here. And uh, if you look at the side of the road, it sure looks like it. So what happens in this little bowl here, this little valley, is you'll get really cold really cold um, most seasons when I drive down this way for some of the YouTube videos um, once we get down near here to this bowl the temps drop just dramatically like up by the 7,110 foot point the lake view at the beginning of the little Arctic Circle it'll be six seven degrees warmer than all the way down here so here's Snow Valley straight ahead Right now, the temperature is currently freezing. I hope you guys are getting a good enough perspective. So yeah, so it's 32 right here, and I believe it might get down to 31 right right over here. And then I'll bet you anything, when we get back to the little Arctic Circle up here, it'll be about 40. Bet you anything, we'll hit 40 before we get back home. And then the temps will, will drop back down again. Well, I'm not seeing too much in the way of accumulation, but you can see that they did get more snow over here than we did in Big Bear, unfortunately. So. That's that. Let's go back to the time lapse to finish the ride. Peace out, guys. Yeah, look. Look to the left and right. There's snow on both sides. We didn't have anything in Big Bear. Peace. Okay, so I told you guys it might get up to 40 on the Little Arctic Circle at 7,100 feet up here. And we're at 38 degrees. And it was just, what, 31 or 32? So that's pretty close. I don't think we're going to get any warmer than this. But once we enter 
Big Bear Lake, the temperature's gonna drop again by a couple degrees. Pretty weird. Anyway, back to the time lapse, please.